Hey everybody, Varun here from Language Academy. Guys, welcome back to another video. This is the third video of our short video series. We are going to look at the third task of the speaking module described image. Again, this is going to be a short yet informative video. I'll try to give all you need in order to nail this task. We'll be starting with what the task is, what is the marking criteria, what template you have to use, and what is expected out of you. And lastly, we'll have a look at few of the do's and don'ts you need to follow in order to crack this particular task. Now, I'll share my screen and share a few things which all of you need to be careful about. All right, task number three, describe image. What happens in this task? You'll get an image on your screen. The image can be anything, a line graph, a pie chart, a, um, you know, histogram, a random image. You can get any image out of the blue. You'll have 25 seconds to prepare about the image and then you'll have 40 seconds to speak about the image. You'll have three to four described images in your test and this task only gives you points in speaking, not in reading, not in listening, only in speaking. This is an easy task yet scoring task. This is assessed on three parameters. You get five points for fluency, five for pronunciation and five for content. Now, this is how your screen is going to look like. This is a sample image. As soon as you get the image, you have 25 seconds to prepare. After 25 seconds, you'll have 40 seconds to give your response. Now, what is the marking criteria? As I've told you, you get five points in fluency, five in pronunciation and five in content. What is fluency? Fluency means you go in a smooth flow. You don't go too fast, too slow. Avoid any kind of hesitations and self-corrections. Fluency does not mean that you cannot take any pause. You can take natural pauses. Whenever there's a comma, there's a full stop. Um, whenever there's a connector, take a slight pause. Pronunciation means you speak clearly, not your accent. Speak in your natural accent, but make sure every word which you speak, which comes out, comes out clearly. Content, content over here, content in describe image. This is very important, pay attention. Let's say this image is given to thousand different students. And let's say all of them, they're explaining it the right way no two students will have the same answer. And there is no human checking in PT. Therefore, there is no fixed answer. In PT, there is no fixed answer when it comes to your describe image. You might explain this in a different manner. I might explain in different manner. You might say that this will increase in future. I might say this will decrease in future. So there is no right or wrong answer. That is why accuracy of content is not important. What is important? keywords you just need to make sure you have around five six keywords from the image and you'll cover your content as i mentioned the accuracy of content is not important there's no right or wrong answer a computer is going to evaluate you there is no human involvement no one will come and see if you're explaining it the right way what you need to do you just need to make sure you have around five six seven keywords from the image you speak clearly and you'll be fine the main thing is don't stop anywhere don't stop and think if you stop and think there will be a lot of hesitations, try not to go exact 40 seconds, anywhere between 20 and 30 seconds and are fine. And use the template for every image. And this has given me 90, 10 times. I've scored 90, 10 times in the test. Templates do work. We have got more than 30,000 students who have used the template and got the desired scores. So you don't really need to do it. What's the template? You just start the image. The given image gives information about the title. It is a very beautiful image and I have to speak for 40 seconds about this image. This sentence is just to make sure you maintain your flow and help you with fluency. There are different elements in the image, which are any three keywords. I can also see any three keywords. You can also add one sentence. I can also see seven, eight, nine. One of the element is maximum. The other one is minimum to conclude the image is informative. That's all you have to do. Take a screenshot. This is going to be super helpful, 100% working. I've got 90 using this. Now, let me show you an example. The given image gives information about economy infographic. It is a very beautiful image and I have to speak for 40 seconds about this image. There are a lot of different elements in the image which are income growth and 90%. I can see production 241 and 432. I can also see 2015, 2016 and 2017. One of the element is maximum. The other one is minimum to conclude the image is informative. Don't worry about explaining everything. Do not try to explain everything. You have to only speak words which are easy. Let's say you are not really sure how to speak this word, right? You find it difficult. If there is any word you're not sure how to pronounce, don't speak it. 
you just say image gives information about economy it is a beautiful image and i have to speak for 40 seconds about this image there are a lot of different elements in the image which are economy income and growth i can also see production 17 and 18 i can also see 75 percent 90 percent and 60 percent one of the element is maximum the other one is minimum to conclude the image is informative that's all that's all you have to do easy task this might sound like too easy for you but yes it works pt is easy do not complicate let's say if you get a random image this is where a lot of students struggle what are the keywords that's what they ask me you have got 25 seconds in those 25 seconds i want you to write around four to five keywords that's it on your notebook or notepad and once your recording starts i don't want you to look at the image don't look at the image otherwise you'll be confused just look at the keywords you have you start this way the image gives information about city. It is a very beautiful image and I have to speak for 40 seconds about this image. There are a lot of different elements in the image which are city, building and, and car. I can also see car, man and road. I can also see road buildings in city. One of the element is maximum, the other one is minimum. To conclude, the image is very informative. Now, a lot of you will ask me, why did you repeat your keywords? Um, there's nothing called reputation, nothing called grammar, nothing called vocabulary when it comes to PT speaking. Why would I say that? Let's say if you have to explain this image accurately. Still, you can use the word root wise, right? It's not that you get an image and you have you can only use the... Even if you explain it correctly, you have to only use the word once. You can even explain it this way, right? The image gives information about a city where we can see a lot of buildings. The first building is this. The second building is this. Now you're repeating the word building even though you're speaking it correctly. So there's nothing called reputation. Nothing called grammar. Grammar is not assessed when it comes to your PT speaking. And nothing called your vocabulary. So if you have less keywords, you repeat the same keywords, but do not speak any word you're not sure. Second, do not think much while you're speaking. Keep it simple, easy. Let's say you get this image. There's no title. Don't worry, we'll just speak this as the title. No one cares. They, all they care are your keywords. The image gives information about Parameta. It is a very beautiful image and I have to speak for 40 seconds about this image. There are a lot of different elements in the image which are Parameta, South and City. I can also see Blacktown, Greater Sydney and 26.4%. I can see 10%, 15% and 20%. One of the element is maximum, the other one is minimum. To conclude, the image is informative. This is it. Easy task, do not have to do anything. Don't go too fast, don't go too slow. Take natural pauses, try to cover six, seven keywords. Follow the template. If you have less keywords, you repeat the same, but do not speak a single word you're not sure about. That is what you have to do and you'll be 100% fine. I know a lot of you might be thinking this easy. Will this even work? Using this template, I've got 90, 10 times. Using this template, 30,000 students have got their scores. 100% um, this will work, but make sure you follow it properly and you'll be fine. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section. If the video was helpful, do like, share and subscribe. If you need any help, do let me know in the comment section. We have got a branches in India and Australia and do we do provide online classes. To practice, you can just go on LAPT exam practice app, free app, download and start practicing. Or you can register on languageacademy.com.au and practice as much as you can. Learn from Language Academy. I'll see you very soon. Till then, take care and stay safe.